Hello viewers, I am Rinal Tiwari from eLabs Technologies and today we are going to introduce you to Multisim. To start with, let's first type NI Multisim and search it on Google. Multisim is a software provided by National Instruments. The NI stands as an abbreviation for National Instruments. After we open the website, click on the download student version of Multisim and after that you can download the evaluation version and then download software button. If you are registered on the website you will directly get the start download option or else you need to log into the website and then you can download it directly into your system after you are done you will get a setup and after the installation you will get a window in multisim these are few of the windows the options available on the right hand side you will find basic measuring instruments like frequency plotter To place your components, you will click on the button place source and you will find different sources over here. Selecting all sources will give you all the list of the components present in Multisim. The capacitors containing different ratings of the capacitor. The electrolytic capacitor with all the different ratings available. The source. The source provide you with all the different sources which you can use in your circuitry basically the power sources the symbols the dc power the ac power the clock the ground everything is available the vcc the vdd the clock can be seen over here, the digital clock. Now we can go to some basic components. Basically the resistors, the resistors with its different ratings are available. The capacitors as already informed before, the electrolytic capacitors. Then we can go to some analog components like transistors by typing BC547. We can get the transistor directly available by typing the name of the component in the search window. And by clicking OK, we can directly place the component in the main screen. By right clicking the component, you will get several options like right click 90 degree clockwise. And you can use these options to invert your components the way you want it to be. Again the source button. You can select resistors from here. After selecting it double click and place it on the main window. And then double click on the component. And you can change directly the ratings of the component as desired by you. The same can be done for the other components too. Like if you take a capacitor, double click on it, select any one random capacitor. And then you can double click on the capacitor and change the ratings as your desired supposedly 1000 microfarad now components like multimeter are also available in the interface of multisim we can use it for current measuring voltage measuring and other purposes
now getting into the menu ac power is available we are selecting ac power from the component list and here the specifications 60 hertz is the american standard frequency we are changing into 50 hertz as in india now directly connecting it across the multimeter positive and the negative is the basic connection the green button pressed is the simulation button now we are using a CRO and a function generator the function generator the amplitude is being modified according to your own use and we are directly going to connect the CRO the common terminal to ground and we are going to simulate it and visualize the signal since the frequency is very low we are trying to increase the frequency by increasing the time per division button and as you can see the waveform is properly visible right now by decreasing the volt per division and increasing it we can amplify or keep the signals as you want to the y axis allows you to shift the signal upward and downwards according to your convenience the same goes for the other one it's channel b stopping the simulation and connecting the negative side of the function generator again and simulating it now as you can see you have two waveforms coming up the both the waveform waveforms are shifted by 180 degree because one has been connected with the positive terminal and other one has been connected with the negative terminal now by right clicking on a particular wire you can change the color segment of the wire so that it's be it becomes quite easy for you to visualize when you have two different signals in a two channel CRO so as you can see channel A appears to be red and channel B appears to be blue now the different signals like AC DC and 0 0 gives you a normal offset DC line and a DC will give you a DC signal that is being supplied by the function generator so you, it can be used to filter out a particular signals now to remove a component just select it and press delete button that's all for today please like share and subscribe